good evening, everybody. So I'm going to talk to you about junior CTF. So basically, it all started with um, my son telling me one day, oh, mom, I, w I want to hack, but like in movies, like something real, right? By the way, he's like 11 years old, okay? So he's, um, he's still young. So I thought, oh, well, it's a good idea. I want to encourage him uh, to do that and didn't want to do to reinvent the wheel, wheel so I reused, well, you, as you can see, the, the CTFD framework out there and build like I have now like about uh, a dozen of challenges which are out there. He likes very much James Bond, so lots of those challenges are like uh, on the theme of James Bond and things like that, and very much about cracking passwords, getting uh, you know, getting into uh, networks and things like that, right? This is a little bit like what it looks like. So there are some uh, terminal captures because he thinks that like, you know, it looks like hacker light, of course. Uh, you have, well, the MI6 headquarters. Uh, of course, it's not the real ones, right? Okay. Um, and the challenges for me, well, is that, of course, uh, he doesn't have a, any computer skills at his age yet. He doesn't know how to uh, program. Um, he only knows very few Unix commands, so that, that was like the surprise to me. I had assumed everybody, you know, um, uh, when you were uh, born, you just know directly CD and LS, and I just I thought afterwards, oh, well, of course, he doesn't know that, okay? So you've got to teach very basic commands so that he can do it a little bit. Um, other thing also, um, many people have recommended that he does things with Scratch, for instance, but he doesn't like Scratch. And the reason is that uh, it doesn't look real for him, okay? Uh, those boxes that you put everything, it's great to teach uh, algorithms, but it's not great for those who want something which look like in movies, right? Um, other thing, of course, he's an English learner, so, well, all the challenges I have for now are in French. Well, I've just translated or started translating one, I think. And, well, as I said, I wanted to encourage him, and I don't want him to become either a cyber criminal, so kind of try to show him what he can do when it's a game, but what he can't do when it's not a game, right? And that's about uh, what I wanted to say. So, well, it's on Framagit, so it's open source. It's, there's a MIT license there. You can go and grab the code. You can install it on your host. You can try it with your own kids. You can change it. You can ha do some other challenges. Um, I'm very open to, well, to contributions. If you want to fork the project and uh, feedback uh, some inputs there, well, be very glad to take it in. There's many different ways to contribute. You can do, well, more challenges, design a, a logo, customize the CTFD framework. I've taken, like, the standard one, but it's not extremely pretty. Um, and I think, uh, yeah, there's also translations to do. Well, there's always lots of work to do to contribute to that. Um, so, well, come and see me if you're interested, and or just grab the sources and use it. That's all.